Welcome to the Pine Hosting Panel Overview. In this video, we'll be giving you a brief tour of all of our panel features. This video is timestamped, so feel free to skip ahead to the parts you're looking for. We also have a large catalog of other videos and knowledge base articles that can be found on our channel. If at any point you're confused, feel free to click the question mark icon at the top right of your panel, which will open a helpful hint based on whatever page or file you're viewing. To start with, when you log into the Pine panel, you're going to have access to the dashboard, account, discord and billing. So we'll begin with these first. At the top left, this is the dashboard. This is where all your servers are going to show. If you have multiple, they'll all be listed here. You'll notice at the top right here, you've got showing other servers and you can toggle this so by default this will show all the servers you own and then when the switch is on it'll show all servers that you're a sub user for so if you want to toggle between your friend's server and yours this is an easy way to do it moving on to the sidebar here we have the account page in this account page you can update your profile your email address change your password and enable two-step verification for some extra security you'll notice over here we have a few other options we have api credentials this allows you to create an api key that you can use on the panel this is great if you wanted to create your own discord bot for example that controls the panel ssh keys if you want to enable extra security you can add ssh keys connect to discord this page allows you to connect with our discord bot if you follow these instructions here you'll be given the client role on discord which lets you post advertisements and allows us to easily access your server when you open tickets next up we have the activity page this shows all your account activity so if you want to make sure nothing suspicious is going on you can go to this page to check it out then we have the preferences page this preferences page might change a bit in future but currently it allows you to enable and disable certain things to configure the panel to behave the way you want you can enable the server bar stop confirmation and kill confirmation you can read the descriptions about what each of these do if you'd like to enable them then the final two buttons we have here are the discord and the billing section these just link to our discord if you want to join it and the billing links directly to our billing panel where you can manage your invoices and view all your servers moving on to the exciting things we have the servers obviously if you click your server this will open your server console page the console page allows you to issue commands through the console view your server resource usage view important information like your ip players the node you're on as well as issue power actions to your server to start restart or stop it we then have the files page this is where you can manage all your server files create files delete files upload files etc you can also drag and drop files in here if you want to quickly upload them we then have the database page this is where you can easily create mysql databases by just clicking on new database another thing we have at the top here is requesting support if you're ever in a ticket if you've got your account linked already your ticket will automatically grant our support team access to your server so they can have a look at your files and assist you otherwise if you want to manually do this or remove their access you can click at the top here so select how long you'd like to grant the support team access for and then request support obviously you can go here and remove the support at any time we then have the schedules page this is probably the most powerful page on the panel this allows you to create schedules to do daily restarts automatic backups etc you can import your schedules from a file you can view our list of templates and you can also create your schedule obviously if you click on the schedule you'll be able to edit all the settings about it we then have the users page this allows you to create delete and edit sub users you can just click new user put their email in and select what permission you would like them to have this is the backup page from here you can create server backups you can also manage backups for example if you had a schedule set up to create daily backups you could go in here to delete them or restore from a backup if you need to now moving down this list we might have a few features that are specific to certain games as you can see we've got easy config plugins workshop depending on the game you have you might have these features or you might have other features for example our minecraft offering will have a mod pack feature and plugin features that show minecraft plugins we won't go too in depth in these but obviously the easy config allows you to manage your config easily plugins allows you to install plugins and workshop allows you to install workshop mods these will all differ slightly depending on the game we then have the startup page this will also differ quite a bit depending on the game but this allows you to see your startup command for your server some games allow you to change your docker image for example in minecraft you could change the java version you're running and then these are all the startup settings that you can edit next up we have the settings page this also might differ slightly depending on the game but this should just give you a general overview the settings page is where you'll find your ftp details if you click launch ftp it'll open any ftp software you have that's a great way to upload files if you don't want to go through the file manager from here you can also change your server name on the panel this doesn't affect the in-game name of your server but this is where you can set uh, a name in the panel and also a description if you want to we then have debug information generally you're not going to need this stuff but if you want to see the node you're on or your server id you can see it here you will also have access to view your protection rules all of our ddos rules are made public so you can click here to ensure that your server has the correct filters set from this page you can also reinstall your server and wipe files if you want to have a fresh start and most of our games also offer the ability to create a subdomain so you can put whatever name you'd like in here you can select from some of our subdomains and then click create and finally we have the activity section 
This page gives you a full overview of all your server activity. If anyone's edited files or changed any settings, you'll be able to see what user did it. You can click this eye icon to see more information and you can also filter by time. That covers our whole Pine Panel overview. Hopefully that's useful for everyone. Obviously we have a lot more in-depth tutorials and videos on our YouTube channel. So feel free to check those out if you would like. As usual, if you get stuck with anything, feel free to contact our support team and we'll be happy to assist.